Experimenters in visual perception are using computers to create weird, random patterns that never occur in real life to find out what and how people see when these patterns are shown to them. These patterns are curiously reminiscent of the pointillism of the 19th century artist Seurat, whose beautifully integrated paintings are formed by countless computer-like dots and dashes. The art of Seurat is an incredibly methodical technique that produced only a dozen or so paintings in his lifetime. Today, researchers are generating that many in a single day. The shape and texture of perceived objects are studies that look deep into the future of communications. When we learn to separate the relevant from irrelevant in visual information, we'll be on the way to sending three-dimensional color picture messages over ordinary telephone lines. when you get back far enough, not only do the small pictures disappear because you're not close enough to see them individually, and the big picture comes across, but if you get even further back, then the uh, picture takes on a continuous tone quality, as though it were a photograph, rather than being a very crude, computer-generated, spatially quantized thing. One of the interesting things to me was that you can draw quite a distinguishable picture on just an 11 by 11 array of black spots and white spots.